Hello there everyone and welcome to the Long Live the King in beginning. Long Live the King is actually a, a necromancer campaign and I love that castle. You know, I just it's just the, the one castle that has a different playstyle just because of all the skeletons and such. So yeah, let's let's do it. Let's go for it. So the first scenario, a griffin's heart. This is actually a quite a nice one. But I have to seek out the seer because completing the seer's quest will allow you to carry the reward to the next scenario. The war in Arras is the greatest thing that could have happened for the nation of Deja. Deja is the necromancer nation. A war of this scale is an endless harvest for our undead armies. Today we shall feast and tomorrow we shall conquer Arathi for ourselves. Okay, I need to bring the spirit of oppression to the city of Stonecastle within three months. Let's choose upon us the Death Ripple one black knight or the skeleton transformer the death ripple is just a scroll i would prefer the black knight because it gives me a lot of good bonuses yeah weird bug because this is just a bug or the of the cinematic with the hd mod because it can't be reproduced and such our spies tell us that the tomb of king griffin heart is located in the town of stone castle near erathia's northern border in a place that was clear of the war with ion and Ufo. Seek this place out and capture it so that we may animate the body of the king. You must also seek out the spirit of oppression and bring it to the stone castle, as it is one of the items you need for the ritual to animate the king's body. But you must act quickly. The body will be of no use to us if its spirit departs. That's good. So we start with Vidomina. She has advanced necromancy and the specialty of necromancy, so this is actually quite a good one. And welcome to the eerie place. So, to begin with, state is always a good one to begin. Town hall, of course, but I, I want better units. And vampires, oh, way, oh yeah. By the way, this castle, the top four units are the ones that compose the castle. The other three units, mm, they are completely worthless. Now, this is the worst castle up to tier four. Completely. Worst castle. Everything is melee. No one flies. Well, I guess the, the whites fly, but then I do not consider them uh, quite a good flyer because of their speed. So, uh, it's just absurd. You no know, whites, skeletons, walking dead are among the worst units on their respectful tier, actually. So, let me just recruit a few skeletons. Um, I've seen gameplays and I've even made them where I never ever recruit Walking Dead just to spare the money, you know? Let me see what I do have. C is a bad necromancer actually because of the, le the learning and such but I'll still need a hero so... Oh by the way, heroes are one thing that they do have quite good ones. Let me go for the necromancer heroes here I have a few of my favorites, but I'm going to show you some of them. Yeah, so... In terms of Death Knights, I don't like Striker. I like Vokail because of the specialty of Vampires, that's helpful. That's helpful because it gives them one extra speed, and for the... the... the, the speed for those Vampires really, really help out. Moander is basically bad. Charn is good because of the basic tactics. Uh, Tamika is one of my favorites. Uh, th this is the one that I'm gonna get. Uh, Isra is the same as the one I have, but in terms of Death Knight. And now we have Clavius, also a good one, especially in maps where gold is scarce. Uh, Galthron, I don't like it as well. It does have a lot of specialty in skeletons. Uh, the Necromancer Septien. Uh, Aislinn, I like it because of the Meteor Shower and Basic Wisdom. Sandro, I dislike. Nimbus is the worst. Thaunt is actually quite good because of the Animate Dead specialty. Uh, Nagash is not as bad. But yeah, that sums them up. I really like Tamika. Tamika is quite a good one. So I'm going to recruit this guy to stay in the castle and give me extra units here. Actually, let's do like this. Good. And then I'll recruit the other ones. So let's check out the Hut of the Magi. Oh, that's what I wanted to see. By the way, I can kill them all 
and still not accomplish the 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 the, the episode you know in terms of bobs and such because all that I have to do let me check uh, scenario instructions where is it yeah I have to seek out the seer and complete it that's that's the the weird part of this one so le I do know that I'm gonna be short on wood so I'm gonna just uh, go for it actually this she is actually going to go on this side and check it out oh I missed that one Tamika go for it Tamika good Tamika is actually going to do that yeah and up to turn gather that up gather more units I can't go into that garrison as of yet I can't remember what was here I think some dwellings or oh, a horde of skeletons there I don't know if they join me up actually so I'm just gonna wait with uh, Tamika there that oh gotta build up some stuff town hall I do need the for the mausoleum I need the mage guild that's quite a, one of the best improvements you know everything that you can get on the other ones it's good this is also one of the castles that benefits the most from their upgrades actually basic logistics oh that's good see yeah lots of marksmen gonna have to stop there so you lady Tamika you're gonna get the windmill you lady you could attack right now actually because I think I can deal with them uh, oh town hall of course tomb of souls no mage guild I want the licks right now into my army that's it seal's head I need the pendant of this passion yeah let's get her up I know that one week full of units is good so 66 4 11 I don't have any uh, archers actually so I'm just gonna wait for the next uh, end turn mausoleum that's good the biggest problem is the money on this uh, episode actually see you're gonna go here yeah I can't build the city hall I should build the tomb of uh, souls or what's this the Tomb of Souls, yeah, that's right. Actually, I am going to strike, I believe. Yeah, I wonder. No, let's just wait one week. This doesn't matter if I wait just... I don't, just don't want to wait way, for way too long. Because that actually doesn't help out. Uh, marketplace does give me the... Um, a good rate over there I can't upgrade the state I need the necromancy amplifier oh because the first upgrade the state can almost uh, win me the game right now yep the upgrade to state is really gonna make the difference here however I want the Citadel to give me more units and then I'll just have better vampires and that will so sort it out yeah good let's build it up can I upgrade yes I can then on next turn I'm gonna recruit them all and that will probably be it actually Tamika you can go over here and gather up your forces that's it that's all that I need actually to to win this one go 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 I can barely recruit them all give them let's have our first fight drains life they actually replenish their, their own numbers so I'm gonna move them here because I want them to be under attack they didn't attack me there doesn't matter black knight over here now 
wait. And they're back to normal life. This is the ultimate archer killer, because no archer can deal with the, the vampires. You know, it has to be like titans or something to deal with them effectively. And the more you have, the better they work. Lots of spikemen. Yeah, always pursue with this castle. Always. Just because you're gonna gain a lot of skeletons. The fan, I'm gonna show you the vampires at work. They alone can deal with this. Yeah, they're back to full health. <laughs> so long as he doesn't manage to critically get me, I'm going to always win. That looks like cheating, actually. But you can kill them. The best option for you to kill them is archer fire or missile troops. Good. More skeletons on our way. End up turn. Okay, I already have knowledge of that spell. You're gonna go directly to the castle, actually. Yeah, you're gonna win that fight, pretty much. Get her up the windmill there. What can you build? Marketplace. Good. Let me have more pikemen. Sure. Well, let's wait, wait. Yeah, he wants to save up because of the damn uh, archers, but I can slowly dwindle them down. They actually did the right choice, which is to attack the vampires. But they're flyers, guys. Although I can't move them in. Because they'll get destroyed. Um, yeah, I wish I hadn't done this. Because I really need them there, there. Yeah, one vampire lord lost. Let's see if I can bait them. Come on. Oh, I can strike them, gather him back, and on the next turn, go back. That's one of the, the ideas that I always used. And in the meantime, he'll have no archers. See? Wait. Good. Thank you all for that. I'm gonna move my uh, pikemen there. Good. Again, the magic arrow, and now you can sum up over those guys. I think the 60 guys can actually deal enough damage for me, so I'm just gonna wait. Nice. He might be able to kill that guy. Nice. Good. Now he's dead. As soon as my vampires reach this state, there's no choice for them. Ooh, that was barely the the damage that he needed. Oh well, this is done. Come on. Come on, skeletons. Actually, morale is one thing that undead don't have, which is kind of bad. They need tactics or something to move faster or haste or something. Good. Expert necromancy, advanced logistics. Okay, so the red has been vanquished. And now all that I have to do is actually keep recruiting some stuff. And building up. Because now I can do it at my leisure. Which is kind of better. You know, that's the King's Griffin Heart tomb there. Okay, Mystical Garden. Now it's much easier, guys. Can always rush these guys. Or this episode. But as I told you, the 
Vampires are actually quite useful. You can also use licks. Uh, I decided not to use them, but it, you can also use them for a greater effect. I think you can actually rush on the first one. Let's just have gold. Secondary skill, basic luck, it's not bad. So time to search for that pendant of this passion, which is kinda that's the, actually the purpose of this. I don't want spell power, I'm not gonna do that. It's too expensive. Town. Let's keep building it up. Also, this is a nice uh, a nice setup for you to get to know the castle. You know, let's have the mage guild here. I don't need it actually. I don't need anything there. I just want to upgrade my uh, castle. Nothing else. Okay, you're gonna get it up here. City Hall. Gather more whites and more skeletons. Let's go over here. Nothing here. What can I build? Cover the darkness is really good. Actually, it's one of the best by uh, uh, best optimized uh, buildings over here. Not optimized. The, the special buildings are always here in the middle. So upgrades is one thing that I should only do on this castle as soon as I can. Uh, not as soon as I can get them, but these ones are the worst upgrades, so I shouldn't do them right now. Skeleton Transformer is kind of good, but I'm going to wait for more money to do other stuff. Let's slay these hordes of skeletons. Maybe they'll join, actually. Let me see, can I build anything? What do I need here? Sulfur. I need a lot of money here. That's nice. I'm going to build up the castle first. Yeah, they joined me. More money. Hall of Darkness. Sure. I want Black Knights. Actually, I spent the last turn, so or the last week, so I can gather all this. Yeah. Hourglass. Yeah, this is one of those scenarios where one seer gives me the reward for the other one. Uh, resource silo is good, but I spend way too much money for that, so I don't want it. Mercury, that's always nice. Let's visit this. Can I build anything here? No, not the castle, nothing, not the dragon vault. Lots of marksmen. Marksmen are quite dangerous. Let's wait. I'm gonna get more reinforcements out of his, his dead troops. Okay. Come on. Let's go for it. Done. Yeah, and I got 10 skeletons from the necromancy. Sulfur mine, that's always necessary. Advanced offense. Got back into there. What can I build? I can build a castle. Sulfur, finally. Sulfur is actually the one of the most necessary for this uh, castle, actually. Just because the licks are very important. I won't buy anything out of there. I want the capital here. Good. And turn. Hey, yeah, capital. Actually, you, sir. We're gonna gather up more pikemen. The good thing about this castle is that you can turn everything into skeletons, so you can have a large mass of them. I used to to not use it at all, 
And now I'm just... I just love it. 60. I can almost barely kill them. Okay. Let's gather them up over there. Yeah, they defended well. Okay, kill them. Gotta love the, the vampires over there. The vampire lords, actually. Okay, let's gather this windmill. And these units here. Come on, merge over there. Okay, what can I do? Upgrade Hall of Darkness, definitely. One of the best upgrades to do. Gives me Death Knights, which are much improved Death Knights. Give her, f give him forces over there. And go back. Town. Can you upgrade anything else? Could upgrade the Tomb of Souls, actually. What do I need for the Mausoleum? Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade it. Why not? Uh, Mercury is actually quite necessary as well. It's the resource for my um, my other troops. Okay, I'm gonna just send this guy now. Dragon Vault, I'm gonna need some more Sulfur. That's it. I wish this wasn't Wood and Ore and was something else. Let's do the Skeleton Transformer now. Actually, I've seen... Uh, I've once done... Uh, zombies transformed into skeletons because it's much better magic arrow wait defense okay didn't work now cast no no necessary cast here let's kill these guys Oh, and by the way, they don't have any mere retaliation, so... <laughs> it's, it's another bonus on those guys. Lots of swordsmen. This is gonna be bloody. For this one, I'm not afraid because I can use my skeleton as well. But as you can see, no archers, guys. No archers. That's the greatest weakness of this uh, castle. Now they only have the licks for archers. They're a very good archer, but still not exactly what you would want. I would want a, a level 3 or 4 archer or something. Okay, let's get at this guy here. He's gonna have some difficulties. Good, that kills them all, I believe. Let's protect my vampire lord from him. Good. Now, my Vampire Lords can deal with anything. Good. 27, I gain 10. Recruit Archers, I believe. Town. What can I build? I wanted to build the Dragon Vault, actually. Unearthed Graves, that gives me skeletons. Gives me more skeletons, even. Yes, yeah, certainly. I do need these guys. Town. What else can I build? Well, certainly now I should upgrade the graveyard and such. But that takes away a little bit of my... Well, I don't actually need that. What I do need, however, is to trade these for sulfur. Then next time I can build it up. End of turn. Give me money. Yeah, Dragon Vault. Quite nice. Bone Dragons are the weakest of all level 7 creature. But then Ghost Dragons are actually useful. I won't say quite good or anything because they are kind of middle ranged. Or bottom of the chart, let's say. Town. Can you upgrade? No, I need the Mercury. Look at that. All of that Mercury. Okay. Doesn't matter. Let's wait for that. I wanted you to see all the units. Pack of Zealots. Doesn't matter. Wait. They killed my archers. Thank you. Thank you. 
And just move them closer. Now you're gonna see why they're so cool. I should shield them. Okay, defend, defend. That's a weakness of the Vampire Lords when they can't draw everything, so you're gonna lose a few. But that's fine. Tamika, you can gather some more pikes. Actually, now you're actually gonna recruit those and transform them into skeletons. <laughs> Over here, can I build anything? No. Create Cursed Temple. Nah, I don't want that. The upgrade the Cursed Temple, the biggest problem is that if you have a, an empty slot, they will give you skeletons instead of upgraded skeletons. And that actually doesn't doesn't suit my needs. Oh yeah, there's a pack of monks, zealots, zealots. So I have to wait for reinforcements or I have to go back and gather them. Um, yeah, but it's been quite a while on this episode, so I'll sum it up on the next one. So cheers, guys.